Hi everyone. Uh, so in this uh, demo, uh, it's going to be a continuation of uh, my previous two demos on OpenStack. So in this demo, we will focus on the uh, OpenStack networking aspects. Uh, first, uh, we will create a private network uh, where uh, you know we have some VMs talking to each other. Uh, then we'll create you know few other private networks and you know try to establish connectivity between you know two uh, private networks. Uh, so in this demo, I'll use the uh, OpenStack ISO house on Ubuntu uh, with uh, ML2 plugin controlling the open vSwitch. And uh, in the last part of it, uh, we will uh, try the uh, connectivity between a controller and a compute host and we'll have a GRE tunnel between the two hosts and uh, we can look at the connectivity between the, uh, the VMs across the tunnel. So this is my controller VM, which is very similar to what I had uh, used in my earlier demo. Uh, so here I can look at the local RC file. Uh, the one difference uh, from the previous uh, demo I had is that I have used the uh, uh, ML2 plugin here with the agent as the open vSwitch and uh, the uh, tenant network type is uh, GL. Uh, so we'll stack this. So this will take a few minutes wait for that to be done. All right, we are back. So the stacking got completed. Uh, so, before we go to the horizon, first we can look at the uh, IF country. Uh, so, a BR EX uh, interface that has got created, and this is going to be our external connectivity mechanism. So we can look at the uh, open switch output. So, here uh, there are three bridges which are relevant to us. One is just a BREX for external connectivity, and this is the, uh, the internal uh, bridge that we are going to use. And then the BR tunnel will be used for the tunneling, uh, which we will you know, go through at the end of uh, this demo. We'll go to the uh, Horizon interface. Okay, so we are on the Horizon, we have logged in. Uh, first, uh, let's look at the uh, hypervisors. So we have one hypervisor that is present. Um, let's look at the network topology. So here we have a private network in the 10.0.0 domain, and then we have a router that is connected to the uh, public network. So at the first step, what we will do is we'll create a couple of instances in the private network. So the instance instances from the default zeros uh, image. Uh, from the networking perspective, uh, this is already in the private network, which is the 10.0. So click on launch. Okay, so these VMs are now getting created. While these are getting created, we'll go to the network and let's look at the network topology. Now we can see these uh, two instances that uh, are creating getting created in the 10.0 uh, network. So now what we do is we look at the available networks. We have one private network. We create one more network. This uh, subnet. Uh, it's automatically picked the gateway, so we'll skip that. So yes, we have created it. Now, uh, at the network topology, so we have the 11.0 uh, subnet that has got created. Um, the second private network is created. Let's create two more hosts on this subnet. So go to the instances, launch instance. Yes, 
two of them lived the same as before. The difference here is in the networking. Uh, instead of using the, the 10.0 subnet, let's use the subnet 2 that we got create that we just created now. And now let's look at the network topology. So now we have you know these two VMs that are getting created on the subnet 2. Uh, while these are coming up, let's have the consoles of the uh, uh, all the VMs. Okay, so I have the uh, consoles for all the uh, four VMs. You can see uh, it's in the uh, these are the two VMs in the 10 dot uh, network, which is 10.0002, this is 03, uh, and then we have two VMs in the 11 network, 11.03 and 11.02. Is we can try to ping in the same subnet. Working fine. So here let's try to ping in the same subnet. That's working fine. So if you try to ping across the subnet, not going to work. Uh, obviously, that does not uh, does not work. So to get the connectivity between the two subnets going, let's create a router uh, between these two subnets. So we'll go to the routers. Uh, we'll create a router. Because router one and we'll the router one that is already called as router one. So we can go inside the router one that we just created. Add uh, interfaces one interface in the 10 subnet and let's call this 10 0 10. And uh, we'll add one more interface in the 11 subnet. Interfaces that we just created. Let's quickly look at the network topology. So now we have you know this router that's connecting the uh, two subnets, and we should be able to ping across the two subnets now. So one thing uh, we need to do before we can get the ping. Okay, let's let's quickly try if the ping works now. So instead of ping, it's not going to work. Look at the routing table on first VM. Uh, we need to set a gateway for the uh, 11 subnet, and this is on the 11 VM on the 11 subnet, and that does not have the gateway for the 10 subnet. So add gateway to 11.0.0 set the gateway to the router's address which is 10.0.10 uh, and Just shown that we're able to ping uh, between these uh, two subnets uh, because we have a router connectivity in the middle, and that's this is the router that we just added. Uh, one thing I wanted to quickly show is uh, if I start the Wireshark on this little device here, you start the Wireshark with this little device that captures on all the interfaces and ICMP. I set the filter on the ICMP here. So let me go to the uh, one of the VM and let me just ping from the 10 subnet to the 11 uh, subnet. So we have a bunch of uh, you know, ping packets here. Uh, the only thing I wanted to show here is uh, if you look at the ping, uh, this is captured at you know, different interfaces because I captured on the pseudo interface. And if you look at all the ping packets, uh, there is no tunneling that is involved here. The reason is because these are two hosts, these are two VMs that are attached to the same host. Uh, so, you know, all these ping packets, basically there's only one ping, but it's captured at different interfaces. And, you know, you see it's, you know, raw packet with no tunneling. That's kind of what I wanted to show here. The next, uh, what we will do is we'll create 
uh, one more compute host and have a tunnel between the controller and the compute host and we will repeat this uh, we will repeat this whole uh, you know, that we did now. 